Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Malki of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Now, Living Streams, we meet behind the trade fair behind Zenith College at the Life Cathedral, Zoe Chapel of the Life Cathedral. Come and be blessed. Come hear a revelatory word and come and hear a transforming word, life transforming word. This morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts on the, the topic, too high, too low. My story is taken from the story of Naaman, you know, in um, 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 1 to 17. There is a very interesting story there, very intricate, but very interesting, of a powerful captain of the Syrian army, and his name was Naaman. And Naaman was, was a leper. And Naaman had, even though he was everything, he had everything, yet there was something about him that was not correct. How sometimes it is good for us to recognize that we may have everything but sometimes there may be something very small and that thing needed grace and that thing needed the intervention of somebody else other than you so you see no man is an island and everybody needs a little help to get their lives together naaman was a captain he had everything but he was a leper he was a favorite of the king the favorite captain of the king of syria but he was a leper and he needed somebody to help him Whatever we are, whatever we say we are, each and every one of us will need grace. Each one of us will need an intervention of God at one point or the other. Or not just an intervention of God, but a human intervention in our affairs. A human help. Somebody to give you a cup of water. Somebody to help your hand cross a river. Somebody to give you some food in the moment of hunger. And somebody to speak peace to you in the moment of conflict and anguish. Somebody to say something that would be a voice of encouragement and a voice of comfort and a voice of affirmation and a voice of applause. Somebody needs our approval. Somebody needs to do that for you. Now, so Naaman, being a leper, he needed something from, from God and he needed something from a prophet called Eli Elisha. And the Bible says he approached Elisha. Now, when he approached Elisha, here comes my principles. Too high, too low. And I like to capture the first one. Uh, in a very succinct way. When Naaman got to Elisha, first of all, Elisha refused to come out. And the reason why Elisha refused to come out was that was a divine transaction. And the face of a human being need not be put on a divine, solely divine transition. Why? Because that particular thing was a portal uh, uh, tra transaction by, by God. It was a portal transaction, not transition. Portal transaction. God was painting the whole picture of salvation. Lepers, sinners. This is a typology of sinners. Washing in the Jordan River, you remember, baptism. John the Baptist started his ministry of repentance by putting people in the Jordan River. And so Elisha did not come out, but Elisha then said to Naaman, um, I'm not coming to see you. Go and wash in the Jordan River. Go and wash in the Jordan River. And that is where the too high or too low comes into effect. Did you see what Naaman did? He was angry. He was upset. And then he made a statement. He said, ah, this man, pa, I thought when you come, you just wave a magic wand over me and my leprosy is going to go. And all of a sudden, you go asking me to go and wash in that dirty water. Then he said, there are better rivers. And he referred to those better rivers. He said, he was asked to wash in the Jordan River, but he said, I have a banner and the Fapa. I have the banner river and the Fapa. And there are better rivers than this river you're asking me to listen. He said, don't we have better rivers in Syria? The Abana and the Fapa. They are better rivers. And for me, I'm beginning to, I was looking at it. And I was looking at the different things those rivers stood for. You know, the first principle, and then we'll continue on later. The first principle that made me amazed. You know what the, Naaman had a reference point, And his reference point was the Abana and the Fapa. The reference point why he doesn't want to step out into something new. Why he doesn't want to this thing. Because those rivers are below, that river is below him. 
The reverse he knows, the reference reverse he knows was the Abana and the Fapa. First of all, let me give you some stark realities. Abana means stony, resolute, intransigent, unbending, stiff necked. Now, you'll be very surprised that some of us can be kicked up in yesterday in such a way that when God wants to do something new, we, we are so kicked up, we are so irresolute, we are pig headed. With the, with, the, with the old, we never want to welcome the new. And we are so, we are so steep in, in the old, we are kicked up in it. And sometimes the only way, you know, it, it's so sad, the only way is for God to bypass us and to use somebody else. Sometimes there are new things God wants to do. That was the challenge of people. Stony, pig-headed, stony hearts, mindsets that are made up, mindsets that are not open, my inflexible, intransigent. This was the first river, Stony. The reference point of uh, Naaman, what, what did he do? It made his heart stone cold. It made his belief stone cold. He was entrenched in yesterday. He was entrenched in what he knew. He didn't, he didn't want to open up to the new. He doesn't want change because he knew the Abana River and its reference point. Most of the time, sometimes, our yesterday becomes traps that, 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 that affects us from walking into our tomorrows. Sometimes the things we know already become stumbling blocks to what is new. And sometimes there are new things that are happening. Sometimes we need to learn. Principles don't change, but the method of expression of those principles sometimes change. You can't put new wine into old wine skins. And some of us are so set up in our ways. We refer to the Abana, stone cold beliefs, Stone cold standpoint, irresolute, intransigent, pig headed, obstinate. That's what we have become stubborn. And sometimes we refuse change. Naaman needed to change desperately. Naaman was going to be a candidate that was going to transport him from the misery of leprosy to a new reality of normal skin, baby fresh skin. Fresh vista was about to be opened to him. A fresh day was about to open to him. A new lease of life was about to open to him. But he was entrenched in the banner, the stony, the resolute. You know what? Be flexible. And sometimes you see what God can do with you. See you later, part two.